Hi, this is Dr. Munyan with Exotic Vet Care, and I'm going to show you how to nebulize your pet today. And our assistant for this one is going to be Rose the Sulcata Tortoise. Um, we oftentimes have to nebulize patients for upper or lower respiratory disease to get the medication directly penetrating to the site rather than uh, circulating through the body. But what I have here is a container to keep Rose in so she's nice and comfortable and so that I don't have to sit there and hold the nebulizer at her face. A lot of animals prefer that. No, you can push me. So we put her in our container and ideally you have a couple ventilation holes so that while it's going to hold in most of the nebulization material, it's not going to build up too much pressure or make it too foggy in there. And then we have our nebulizer itself here, which we are going to fill the cup up with medication. And you'll be prescribed different medications. In this case, we're just going to use some sterile saline. So we fill up our cup. The fuller the cup, the longer the nebulization session is going to be. And we screw back on our top here. And for our in-hospital one, we have it taped off at one end to make sure it's all going one way. And then in this case, we're going to direct it into the box or you can even tuck it into the box like so, so that we're not pinching off the cord and it leaves a little extra air space to go. Then we come over here and turn on our nebulizer. And you'll be able to see in a minute that the nebulized solution is coming out and it's going to kind of fill up the container just with rose in it so she's not stressed out about having to put her face in this nozzle and then usually we nebulize them somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes uh, oftentimes several times a day and this is a way that they can be comfortable and safe while they're getting nebulized and then we just run the nebulizer until the little cup is empty.